This is TGR Exotics Wildlife Park, a very unexpected encounter with some of nature's wildest creatures. Co-owner Gwen Scott started this park right behind her house, which now exists in her very large backyard. <laughs> You're kind of like Snow White out here. Oh my gosh, they're all crazy goats, <laughs> but awesome goats they are. Well, it's not just goats. I saw like, was it potbelly pigs, llamas? This is awesome. Whether it's monkeys or porcupines, bears, cats, or bear cats, TGR is a safe place for all animals, as many of these were rescued from owners who didn't realize what it truly takes to care for exotic animals. And so what's the, the vision of this place? Just to allow people to experience exotics? Yeah, it's education. I mean, okay. a lot of the education, we have animals here that are endangered. Excuse uh, me, buddy. I mean, we can. I'll, I'll ride you. So we do outreach, we go to schools, okay. uh, we do programs for a lot of animal celebrity people. Field so if I ever want to make the day trip or traveling show like Jack Hanna yes, and I need we, a sloth, yes, we do. I'll call y'all. Yes. Oh, y'all actually do? Yes. Okay. With urban populations growing, most folks don't have a chance to see and especially not to interact with exotic animals. And that is what TGR is all about. Okay, <laughs> here we go. I'm going to introduce you to Nick here, What's up, Nick? and he What's is up, uh, your sloth encounter person today. Um, but first, before you step in here, with your beautiful hat you have on, I recommend taking it off. Everybody I was warned on. of just such a thing, okay. that they like to steal hats, is they this do. true? They do, they do steal hats. I should be faster than a sloth, right? Well, meet Quincy and Stella, and unlike the extremely slow three-toed sloths, these two-toed sloths move, well, still pretty slow. There you go, you want to give that yeah. to her right there? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so they like to grab it or eat, they'll eat it out of my hand, huh? Either or, they'll grab it from you or you just put it directly How's in that, the mouth man? and they'll take is it. Is that a mango? Is that what yes, you want? that's a mango. So if you give them something that's not too sweet, if we were to start off with a carrot, I'm just going to throw it to the ground. They're really? spoiled. They're a little spoiled. Oh, you need to eat both your fruits and your vegetables. I mean, come on. And just as I was warned, there goes my hat. Oops, he loves <laughs> there hats. It is. There you go. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you might as well give it up. It, Quincy, you gonna eat that thing? You're gonna be our sloth ambassador in the rainforest. <laughs> That's awesome. I got my hat stolen by a sloth. There it goes. He already, he already no dumped more. it. He wants, look, he wants John Mark's sunglasses is what he wants. Wait, still. Oh, he's gonna run your camera. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hey, who knew sloths were such curious creatures? I'm learning a lot today. You know, every animal here is special in some way, including some animals like the hyena that get a bad rap. Do you have to constantly remind yourself, hey, well, these are wild animals, even though you get to know them so well, they may feel like pets? Definitely. Uh, but once you step foot in here, which is her space, she's not too happy. Whoa, oh, shake, <laughs> shake, I was like, whoa. I turned my back to a hyena, that's probably a bad idea. TGR is set up to do group tours and additional private encounters. It's a choose your own adventure sort of place with animals I've never seen. Whoa. So this is a short beaked echidna. There are three different species. Now the short beaked is found all throughout Australia and Southern Papua New Guinea. If you look, you got this really awesome beak right here. Yeah. Wow. Woo, this is not the kind of animal you want to cuddle with. No, no, not at all. What's her name? Uh, you can name her right now if you want. What do you think she should be named? Uh, oh, Billy the Echidna. That's pretty good. It's gotta good. be Billy. Billy's a good kind of uh, androgynous name. And with that, my work here is done. But such a cool place to visit. <laughs>